थैंक यू एवरी ओन टूडे आई स्टार्ट आर निव चैप्टर फर क्लस सेभेन इट इज द कार्बन डाइक्साइड कार्बन डाइक्साइड इट्स केमिकल फर्मुला इज सीओ टू वन मलिकुल अफ कार्बन डाइक्साइड कन्टेंट वन एटम अफ कार्बन एंड टू एटम्स अफ अक्सिजें कार्बन डाइक्साइड इट इज ए कम्पाउंड and about 0.03% of our air by volume is carbon dioxide that means carbon dioxide present in air uh, at the 0.03% by its volume now uh, the question is how we prepare carbon dioxide generally carbon dioxide is prepared uh, by the reaction of any carbonate or bicarbonate salt with any dilute acid uh, say that means carbonate salt car bonate salt carbonate salt plus any acid it it must be dilute acid uh, when any dilute acid reacts with carbonate salt then it forms carbon dioxide with water and another salt this is actually the uh, principle of preparation of carbon dioxide but uh, in laboratory how we prepare carbon dioxide uh, here uh, we use uh, carbonate salt as a uh, calcium carbonate use as a carbonate salt and uh, acid uh, we use here uh, dilute hydrochloric acid that means here the chemical used for laboratory process is calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid calcium carbonate it is cacio3 and hydrochloric acid it is hcl now the chemical reaction in normal temperature Uh, hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate to produce carbon dioxide and with carbon dioxide uh, calcium chloride and water are also produced now the uh, chemical equation that means uh, chemical reaction is represented in symbolic or uh, symbolic form uh, here calcium carbonate it is a calcium carbonate ca co3 calcium carbonate when reacts with hydrochloric acid then this hydrogen of hydrochloric acid is replaced by calcium so this calcium and chlorine together forms calcium chloride when you write down the calcium chloride then you must use the valency of calcium and chlorine a uh, calcium valency is 2 that is why it comes beside chlorine and valency of chlorine it comes beside calcium so the calcium chloride cacl2 is formed water and our product carbon dioxide is formed it is a displacement reaction so the reaction will be calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid must be it is dilute uh, forms calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide now uh, how we collect this produce carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is fairly dissolved in water that is why uh, it does not collect by the downward displacement of water and also carbon dioxide is 1.5 times heavier than air as it is heavier than air uh, then it is collected in gas jar by upward displacement of air what do you mean upward displacement of air uh, you put the gas jar in the normal form this is a gas jar now put the mouth of the delivery tube this inside the gas jar then the carbon dioxide comes out and since it is heavier then it is collected at the bottom of the gas jar and air goes out it is air goes out 
and carbon dioxide is collected at the bottom of the gas jar air goes out in upward direction that is why it is known as the upward displacement of air so carbon dioxide is collected in gas jar by upward displacement of air now it is the uh, laboratory preparation now what is the properties of carbon dioxide uh, first of all the physical properties uh, what are the physical properties of carbon dioxide uh, the physical properties of carbon dioxide is uh, carbon dioxide is colorless odorless and non poisonous gas but excess amount of carbon dioxide can cause suffocation it is a poisonous not poisonous but excess amount of carbon dioxide cause suffocation already we know uh, carbon dioxide is 1.5 times heavier than air and that is why it is collected by the upward displacement of air carbon dioxide is fairly soluble in water at ordinary temperature that is why carbon dioxide is not collected by the upward by the downward displacement of water now the carbon dioxide uh, can be liquidified carbon dioxide can be liquidified at normal temperature by applying high pressure that means uh, when you apply high pressure on carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is liquidified but, but when this high pressure is removed from liquid carbon dioxide then carbon dioxide starts to evaporate that means carbon dioxide liquid carbon dioxide turns to vapor or gas and due to this vaporization it starts to cool when temperature reaches to minus 78 degree centigrade then the liquid carbon dioxide freezes into solid this solid carbon dioxide looks like ice and the solid carbon dioxide is known as dry ice this is a uh, dry ice and dry ice is sublimated substance be careful don't handle dry ice in naked ice because its temperature is very very low nearly minus 78 degree centigrade now the uh, it is a sublimated substance what do we mean by sublimated substance sublimated substance means uh, the it when it exposed in air then it starts evaporate solid just transfer to the gaseous forms don't go through the intermediate state liquid solid transfer to gaseous form that is why it is known as the sublimated substance as now the uh, carbon dioxide is dissolved in air i am sorry uh, carbon dioxide dissolved in water fairly uh, but on applying high pressure a greater amount of carbon dioxide can be dissolved in water and aerated drink is formed when carbon dioxide is dissolved in water by applying high pressure then carbon dioxide combine with water to form carbonic acid due to the presence of carbonic acid the aerated drinks that means uh, cold drinks which is commonly known as uh, is sour in taste this is the physical properties of carbon dioxide uh, next video we discuss about the chemical properties of carbon dioxide thank you